Come on in, this is the PM Nerds Overview Demo for Clarity. We're going to take about 10 minutes and touch on three takeaways and the positioning of CA Technologies product called Clarity. Of course, the tool does more than what we'll discuss, so check out the other demos to gain insight into the depth and breadth of its capabilities. Take a seat and we'll get going. From previous overview sessions on Clarity requirements, ideation, and Agile, much of the slide should be familiar. Notice we have the seven pillars containing the activities of the business units used to increase product differentiation and perceived value. We're also showing the horizontal support activities provided by IT used to lower costs. At the intersection of the activities of the business units and IT, we increase product differentiation while lowering costs to increase competitive advantage. In this slide, we're now introducing the additional notion of the eight centers of product innovation. It's the tight integration of the supporting technology, process, and culture of both the seven synthesis pillars and eight analysis centers that enables continuous product innovation. These eight analysis centers supports the business objectives of communication, portfolio, risk, resource, asset, project, service desk, and architecture management. Each of these eight centers provide data synchronization, management, analysis, and reporting capabilities to the product innovation team. This is a cross-functional team with members from both the business units and IT. When the eight centers are tightly integrated, they support contextual access to data, a holistic organization of new information concepts, an environment that supports the application of new information concepts, and the institutionalizing and formal recognition of these new information concepts. The capabilities created from the tight integration of the eight analysis centers supports the lower half of a continuous product innovation culture. Any break in the adoption hurdles, either in synthesis or analysis, constrains and inevitably eliminates continuous innovation. Remember, your innovation value chain is only as strong as your weakest link. We quickly breezed by a lot of pretty important ideas in these slides. You really should attend the PM Nerds workshop to master these concepts. For this overview demo of Clarity, we want to show the three primary objectives of a community of practice, comprehensive analysis, asset sharing, and collaboration in context of each of the eight centers. Okay, what do you mean exactly by comprehensive analysis, and how is it different from any other kind of analysis? And why is this analysis considered a primary objective for a community of practice? <laughs> I'm not even sure exactly what a community of practice is. Well, hold on now, I'll try to answer your questions one at a time. Let's see, comprehensive analysis. Analysis is about breaking down, in this case data, into its smallest parts, then pulling the different parts together into different information concepts. The notion of a holistic decomposition seems to be an oxymoron. By comprehensive analysis, we want to indicate a type of analysis that maintains a comprehensive or broad context of the data being analyzed, while it is being used to form new information concepts. With comprehensive analysis, the information concepts illustrate the relationships between the eight analysis centers and not just the siloed information about one analysis center. Even though the siloed information is required in the creation of comprehensive analysis, it isn't the final result. So this is the difference between data and big data? Exactly. Without this big data perspective that spans organizational boundaries, practitioners tend to stay within their own boundaries, not knowing how their decisions and activities impact those around them. This maintains and reinforces the us and them mentality instead of a we mentality. The consequence is a force that divides, shrinks, and inevitably destroys any innovation community. Big data, however, is just the opposite. It strengthens we thinking, nurtures the innovation team, and builds a team identity that spans organizational boundaries. Oh wow, we've been fighting this for years. Who would have thought all we needed was to use big data? Not quite so fast. Comprehensive data certainly helps, but that is not the solution to all the problems. Which brings me to the question about what a community of practice is. Communities of practice are groups of people who share a concern or a passion for something they do and learn how to do it better as they interact regularly with each other. In our case, we're talking about the group of people involved with the product innovation in your company. I know that this is a loose definition. In fact, all of us are members of a community of practice, referred to as simply a COP or a COP. Typically, this COP has an ad hoc structure as it forms informally naturally. At PM Nerds, we help transform these ad hoc communities into formalized COPs. So, what you'll be showing us demonstrates how Clarity supports our product innovation COP? Exactly. At least that's what my intentions are. Let me know if I'm successful. <laughs> <laughs> so, let's take a look at Clarity and how it supports comprehensive analysis and context of the eight centers before we talk about asset sharing and collaboration. Comprehensive analysis requires data from across the eight centers of innovation. 
In this diagram, we get a cost-benefit analysis of each portfolio based on data from the project, resource, and asset management centers. This gives us a quick view into the portfolio so we can see where we need to dive into more detailed analysis. In this diagram, we can quickly identify portfolios that have a high cost variance and are well above the planned portfolio threshold. If the benefit is high enough, the cost variance may be acceptable. In this diagram, we can analyze and compare projects based on data from Portfolio, Project, Resource, and Risk Management. The top diagrams show what percent of projects have critical status, schedule delays, high alignment, and high risk. The projects are grouped by type. The pie charts show us the resource allocations and actuals by type, helping us see how accurate our resource planning is and where the majority of our resources are being committed. On the bottom right, we can see the number of issues, risks, and change requests by project type and their priorities. Using this, we can ensure the proper portfolio mix is being maintained and balance risk across the portfolio. We can perform scenario analysis across the portfolio to optimize the set of projects in the portfolio. This diagram shows projects over time grouped by their priority. The color of the project represents risk, and the size of the bubble is the planned cost. Cash management with its significant investment of 200000 and high risk should not be invested in before higher priority projects. Through scenario analysis, we can select the optimal set of project investments taking into consideration risk, cost, and priority. I showed you a whole lot of stuff and left out even more. Make sure you look at more detailed demos on how Clarity supports each of the eight centers. Still, I need to push on to the next primary objective of a COP, asset sharing. Let me show you how Clarity supports asset sharing between COP members and between each of the eight analysis centers. The Knowledge Store acts as a repository of best practice information, templates, and documents that can be shared across the eight centers and within project teams. Under Business Architecture, we can share communication plans, adoption plans, charters, and a technology roadmap with other stakeholders. Templates can be used to save effort and leverage others' past experiences. All documents can be checked in and out and can go through a document review process. Clarity allows you to not only share templates, but you can manage processes in the system as well. You can define the steps of each process along with start and stop conditions, notifications, escalations, and process diagrams. Processes that support any of the eight analysis centers can be defined and leveraged by all teams to ensure effectiveness and increase the efficiency of the analysis process. Resource management information assets such as resource capacity can be leveraged in project management and scheduling project tasks. Clarity allows you to leverage these information assets across all eight analysis centers. So with asset sharing, we can jumpstart our projects using project templates, right? Not only project templates, but templates supporting all the analysis centers. I'm also excited about how our experienced people can teach new people without actually holding a class. By sharing assets, new people can see what's expected and learn from other members of the COP. Two in one, now that's effective. Yeah, we can shorten the ramp up time between projects. I'm beginning to see why you said the outcome of the eight analysis centers was to reduce costs and increase effectiveness. Yes, Clarity makes it easier to share assets between projects. The real benefit is the ability to share assets between the analysis centers. This reduces the cost of the center while increasing the amount the center can produce. It sounds like we all understand the value of asset sharing, but don't forget how Clarity also supports asset sharing between the seven pillars within the business units. Now let's take a look at how Clarity supports collaboration within the COP. The home page allows each user to collaborate on projects and tasks. You can see any action items assigned to you and update them. Any projects you have been assigned are displayed with their current status and they can be drilled into as well. Your notifications are displayed on the right from action items or change requests assigned to you. We can use the Project Gantt chart to communicate timing with other team members and see when resources will be needed. Team members can create new tasks or comment on the existing tasks by drilling into one. The Project Watchlist dashboard provides status updates for all stakeholders and enables people to collaborate on projects that need issues resolved. The status report enables communication of project details to all stakeholders and sponsors. And remember, collaboration begins with a communication plan, otherwise it's just noise and random motion. Hey, I don't think I saw the communication plan. The communication plan is a document containing the communication goals, objectives, and strategies for a given initiative. We teach a lot more about this and its companion document called the Adoption Plan in our workshops. One is more strategic, the other more tactical in nature. 
Has everyone seen the value of collaboration between the analysis centers and how Clarity supports that type of collaboration? And how this lowers the overall analysis cost? Well, we're out of time now, and I'm sure you have a lot of questions. So please check out the other sessions on Clarity supporting each of the eight centers, which go into much more depth. Remember, PM nerds wake up each morning and transform themselves using product management practices to increase their competitive advantage.